This video is sponsored by Value Testers. For a complete line of heating and HVAC testing equipment, biggest selection and best pricing on the internet, create a free login to see best pricing once logged in. Link in description below. It is June 1st, 2018. This one here, I gotta go um, replace an outside shower on a summer home. The thing was a little, really, really uh, kind of corroded and been beat up for a long time, so guy wants to change it out I think it's kind of wait till you see what I remember looking at it it's kind of like uh, it's been in there a long time so I got a couple different type of shower valves in the truck I got the Simmons or I got the um, you know the Watts tile just you know just on hot cold shut off type of thing uh, I might go with that cheaper version um, the Watts style I talked to the guy asked him what he wanted to go with these things take a beating out there, you know, it's down by the salt water and it's just an outside shower, they don't use it that much. So we'll see when we get there. Looks like it's got a little drizzly here today. Not even that hot. I mean the high today is supposed to be like 65, 70. Not hot, so. Seems like I got a lot of outside showers going on lately. People, people, are, it's starting to warm up a little bit. Beginning of June, they're, they're starting to think about, you know, uh, going to the beach and using the outside showers. And some of them have got issues, freeze ups, and whatnot. We're going around fixing them for the people. Try to get you some shots when I get there. She's a crusty one. That's not a bad. That's a Speakman. That's not a bad shower head. We'll use that one. That's not a bad little unit. We'll just, we'll, we'll save this. We'll just put another, another valve in. It's off in the basement already, so. She's crusty. I'll show you an easy way to get these handles off if they're all corroded. Can't call me a liar. You will never get that out anyway because it was all corroded. She's a, she's a crusty one. She's one crusty one. Be off and drained in the cellar. I should be able to heat that up and just pop that right off and pop this right off. Pop this off, pop that off, and pop that off. And we'll put a new one in there. When in doubt, cut it out. They never even took this thing apart, looks like. Wow. By the way, I could just cut this with my my cut on might be easier. Put a coupling on it, we'll keep it the same height as it was, you know. I just have to add a coupling up top here. No big deal. I want to go back with the same kind of valve, which is going to make my life easier. I got the same valve. Alright, she's a crusty one. 
She's one crusty one, though. Check up this paint on there while it's kind of corroded, and you go like this with your pliers. Sometimes it helps it get some of that corrosion off of there. Make it easy at the sand, especially if there's paint. That's a little tick tip, mom. A little tick tip. It's a little tick tip, mom. stopped raining so we'll finish it just have to add a piece we'll add a piece with a couple in there I'll be fine I was gonna go with a different style valve but this is gonna be easier for me so let me just go with this one they're both in the truck so it don't matter oh, I got there Three inches. Definitely want to take this plug out of here and put a regular brass one so they can loosen it up and know, you know, that's what they should be doing. What they should be doing and what they're doing is two separate things. So I want to put the right plug in there. Look at that. I want to put a regular one in there. The regular brass plug instead of this style. street elbows, that's what they call a street elbow, so it's got one hub, put that on there like that, put that up on there, that's good, let me just put the other street elbow on, I can start it up, no problem. No problem. I'll to solder it up and That's it, 
solder it right up. All I gotta do is um, get a plug underneath and put the trim on it, which should be okay. I did put that there to keep it away from the from the wall until I soldered it. But it should be fine. I got a half inch plug up inside here, and then we'll uh, turn it on before we put the trim on it. Make sure it's okay. I'm gonna leave that. I'm gonna leave that shower head. It's a Speakman. It's a good one. It's better than the one that comes with it. So I'll leave that. I can put a I can put a clip on it right there to pull it in. It'll be fine. It's a Mickey Mouse clip. Make sure it don't leak before you put the trim on it. Should be fine. Get a couple valves here. Stop and waste valves. So that works all good, you know, you shut it off here and open these drains and then open the valve upstairs and shoot your drain out pretty easy. Put the trim on and we'll give it a dry run, make sure it's okay. New design they got now. Well, that's for the shower, that's a volume control. It's a volume control. Okay, where the tub is different. 
tub is a diverter. This is a volume control. I was gonna go with the other style valve, but this one was just easier. Exact same swap out, you know, a little bit. coming now. I'm not a big fan of that. I mean, that's going to get corroded. You're going to have a hard time getting these off in the future. You watch. Mark my words. Bad design. I was trying to reinvent the wheel here. Yeah, I was trying to reinvent the wheel. I usually leave them off because they will they will go in a little bit because if there is gaskets in there, we'll seat in. All right, let me get my tools out of here and we'll give it a run. And just make sure that the hot water works. It's a nice shower head. Speakman, them are good shower heads. It's not the, the most expensive Speakman, but them are good shower heads. You know, it's easy to, I got one of them in my house. I mean, it's a nice, it's a nice setup. Just make sure that we're getting hot water out of it. All right, it's good. And then the bottom's a volume control. I mean, it slows it down a little bit. It is what it is, man. That's it. As good as it gets. 